What is up everybody and welcome to FLW video. July 1st, the defense form of Deoxys is going to be put into legendary raids and will remain in raids until July 16th. So we're actually going to be getting a little bit more than two weeks of defense form Deoxys. Now, as far as this video is concerned, spoiler alert, defense form Deoxys is not good in raids. So I still want to provide value to everyone from the raid side, from the PVP side. So here's how today's episode is going to go. First things first, we're gonna start out with the counter guide to actually take down Defense Form Deoxys. And the main point in that is because it's actually gonna take a little bit of thought process. This Pokemon is unfortunately a little bit difficult to take down. And then the second part is gonna be focused more on PVP. We'll be talking about Defense Form Deoxys, all of its movesets, and then I'm actually going to be building you a couple of teams with Defense Form Deoxys. So anyways, I hope you do enjoy this episode. Hopefully it does provide value to you. If it does, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the actual raid guide for this, the raid counter Pokemon. And if we go ahead and take a look at some of those best counters where we're considering just regular Pokemon, like non-shadows, non-megas. You can go ahead and take a look at this, but some of them are gonna be kicked out because of the movesets that Defense Form Deoxys has. So, uh, for example, you have to worry about Darkrai if it ends up being paired up with uh, going up against that move counter because it will be super effective against Darkrai. It's gonna just drop super quick. And then, of course, Weavile's gonna have some issues up against counter as well. And then finally, Yveltal. Yveltal is going to have to worry about Rock Slide, and then so is Weavile here. So Weavile, at least in my opinion, I don't know if it's the smartest move to go with. And then, of course, like I said before, we got Rock Slide to kind of worry about Yveltal. So I think generally speaking, if you want to just build an overall team, going with these three are going to be probably one of the... Well, now that I'm thinking about it, you got Rock Slide, and then you've got the fire typing of Chandelure. So my lord, you got to really watch out for those uh, the moves said that's going to kind of depict what team you end up using. So beyond that, the reason why we are talking about this is it's going to require a pretty hefty number of trainers to do it right. And because of that, that means you've got to be super careful as far as the coordination of the raids. That's going to be the first tip. Make sure to talk to the players before you send them invites, especially if you're doing those remote raids, because if one person or another person ends up not joining the raid and you go in with like four trainers it's going to be extremely difficult to do so you want to make sure that you end up with a full lobby on that remote raid side so if you're not familiar with the trick there is a way to get uh, get in there and then invite five people back out come back in invite five more that may end up being the best way to go if you can't get a full lobby but i'm totally going to be coordinating before these raids actually start Doing it with three is gonna be extremely difficult to do. I'm personally recommending going with five or six to do it comfortably, which means you really have to coordinate. I know I've said that a bunch, but I, I genuinely think that that is true. And then of course, there's gonna be another step to, to talk about with this. You could end up using uh, your Shadow Mewtwo and using a Shadow Weavile if you wanna really get out some damage, but what you're gonna to have to look out for with these Pokemon is the moveset so just keep that in mind if you've got counter for weavile kind of gets taken out a little bit and then for mewtwo mewtwo is good to go so i think that one's probably a safe bet to consider and another tip that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to try to coordinate and get people to come in with a mega hopefully that ends up happening i actually don't have a mega gengar or a mega houndoom i don't have the candy available for it so i'm going to try to coordinate for that because that's really going to help out and if you go in with a mega gengar you are going to be doing so much damage for this. And then of course, depending on the Pokemon that goes in, I would try to kind of pair it up with that. So if someone goes in with a Mega Gengar, of course, talking about it beforehand, I think that pairing up the fellow ghost type attackers is going to be the way to go. And then of course, if you've got that Mega Houndoom in there, pairing up those dark types, and then of course, Chandelure gets uh, boosted potentially, you know, from the, the fire typing. So pairing up those dark types could end up being kind of a, a good way to go. So I would highly recommend you to go in there with those Megas, go in there with the, the right Pokemon, of course, depending upon the moveset. And then finally, just make sure that you coordinate with each other. That's gonna be extremely important. So those are the final tips that I have from the raid side. We take a look at the Pokemon stats. Now, the only thing that stands out overall compared to all Pokemon and Pokemon Go is the defense stat ranked at third overall with the defense stat of 330. So extremely impressive. 
Unfortunately though, that impressiveness drops some when you talk about the attack stat as well as the stamina stat, but as many of you know from the Go Battle League side, the attack stat being low is favorable in the Great League and you're gonna get diminishing returns into the Ultra League, but we'll be talking about the rankings for the Great League as well as Ultra League. So anyways, if we go ahead and move on to the moveset, it's a fairly simple moveset. We're not gonna be talking about this Pokemon from the raid side, so you can go ahead and kind of like uh, cast that out. And as far as PvP is concerned, PV Poke is gonna recommend pairing up Psycho Boost with Thunderbolt. I've had some good experience by pairing up Rock Slide with Thunderbolt. So what we're gonna do is cover some team building and doing it from both movesets. That's at least just my opinion and my experience. I've, I've actually used Defense Form Deoxys as one of my core Pokemon for my core team in the Great League until we end up getting the buff to Poison types. My team just kind of just didn't hold up with the time because the meta shifted enough. So I'm familiar with Defense Form Deoxys, absolutely love it. So I'm very excited about everybody getting it. And then at the same time though, if everyone can get Defense Form Deoxys, is that gonna shift the meta? Probably. So that'll be kind of an interesting situation to consider. So what we're gonna be doing now is actually heading over to pvpoke.com and we're gonna be taking a look at the PVP rankings. So of course, we've got the Great League here. And we can see that Defense Form Deoxys ends up ranked 14th overall, which is extremely impressive for this Pokemon. And like I said before, getting the recommendation of Psycho Boost and Thunderbolt, it has better coverage. I, I think that that's probably why it makes more sense here. And then of course, for the IVs that you want to end up going with with this Pokemon, you actually wanna go with a 10, 15, 13. Now, if anybody wants to guess why you end up going with a 10, it's because this Pokemon gets classified as a mythical, and because it gets classified as a mythical, it cannot be traded in this particular case. So the lowest IVs you can get are actually from the raid, which is kind of a good thing because you could pretty much get it straight out of the box from the raid. If you end up with a, a low attack stat of 10, then you're gonna be good to go, especially from the Great League. And then of course, as far as this Pokemon is concerned, it ends up doing fairly well as a lead, but I've had more experience or better experience as a closer, meaning that I just keep it in the back and I've actually used it as a switch, but that's just because of the team comp that I had. So this Pokemon is very good basically from the Great League and you end up taking out some key wins off of this and using that Thunderbolt can really catch a Pokemon off guard like a Zoomerill. So I definitely like using it for that especially just getting off one of those Thunderbolts and then dipping out. That's always a fun one to do. So if we go ahead and move over to the Ultra League, you are gonna have to use an XL version of Defense Form Deoxys, and it is going to remain as uh, a different moveset, actually, with Counter Psycho Boost and then Rock Slide, so a different moveset. I've yet to see one in the Ultra League, though. I mean, it's an extremely expensive Pokemon, so maybe that kind of prevented people from doing it in the past, but I think now we're potentially gonna see more of these in the Ultra League because people are gonna have access to that candy. So it could end up shifting the meta depending on how good this Pokemon ends up being. And then as far as the ideal IVs, you would wanna go with a 12, 13, 15, and then get it up to level 49.5. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so much and so expensive to be able to do that. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford that. I've already got one ready that's pretty close to that. So. Who knows, if I got enough uh, XL candy, I might do it, but that's gonna, that's a hard pill to swallow. And then as far as this Pokemon is concerned, it ends up doing better as a league, as a lead in the Ultra League. So for those of you interested in Psycho Boost and not very familiar with it, it is important to mention that it is gonna end up lowering your attack every time you use it. So a lot of players end up kind of trying to bait around it a little bit because it will lower your attack stat or be willing to uh, trade out or shift out after you end up using it, uh, especially a couple times. So as far as the team building is concerned for the Great League, I end up coming up with this team where we've got Defense Form Deoxys using Thunderbolt and using Psycho Boost like PV Poke recommends and pairing it up with a Lickitung and then finally with an Altaria. Uh, this ends up being a super good team. And as you can see from the rankings, we're seeing some Bs as the, the lowest case scenario and then some As as well. And then if we go ahead and scroll down a little bit and take a look at some of the tops, we'll have to be a little bit careful against some of them like a Metacham, for example. And then if you take a look at the potential threats, it has a threat score of 632, which is ideal to, to stay potentially below 650 
at least from my experience. And then if you take a look at these individual Pokemon, they all have around a 600 average rating. Uh, the further you get away from 500 in the positive direction, that's gonna be a good thing. And then finally, if we go ahead and pair up a team with the different move set of Thunderbolt and then Rock Slide, I think pairing it up with Meganium, which is what I've done in the past for my core team, and then finally a Pokemon like Bastiodon could end up being good. Meganium is favorable to some extent uh, when you're going up against some of those ground types because it's not going to be weak to it because it doesn't have the poison typing. So sometimes I prefer using Meganium over a Pokemon like Venusaur here. Now you are going to drop a little bit in the safety, which is a little bit unfortunate here. So that means overcoming a bad lead. And then finally, if we go ahead and scroll down to the potential threats, we get a very similar threat score at 637. And then if we go ahead and scroll down finally to uh, the actual battle histograms, we can see that they're all hovering once again, right around that 600 kind of setup. So regardless of all of this, I hope you did enjoy it. Defense form Deoxys is incredible from the PVP side. So I hope you are excited about it. I'm very interested to see what is gonna happen when Great League comes back around and everyone and their mom has access to Defense Form Deoxys. I think it's going to shift the meta. I genuinely do. Defense Form Deoxys is an incredibly good Pokemon. It's just people don't have as easy of an access to it, especially since you can't trade them. So I think the meta will shift, but I absolutely want to know what you think about Deoxys, especially the Defense Form, right? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And of course, a huge shout out to the supporters over at Patreon. If you're interested in supporting the channel and want to join the Discord server, connect with fellow Pokemon Go players and coordinate for raids, make sure to check out the Patreon tier in the description below. And I will see you next time.